When it comes to the large application, whereby you have a lot of databases, a lot of IOs, a lot of objects, a lot of trains, reports, mimics, pop-ups, you can use ClearSCADA compared to many other SCADA platforms. My recommendation when it comes to about 50,000 data points brackets, when it goes beyond that, I'll suggest you have a ClearSCADA server that's installed on the Reknon PC environment. When it's below 50,000 k, you can install the ClearSCADA on the desktop environment. You would also need a VUX license when you apply, when you configure the ClearSCADA server. VUX license is typically used by operators on site or the supervisors who need to constantly monitoring the site's performance. From a reporting point of view, ClearSCADA has import reporting facility whereby it can extract the historic data from the ClearSCADA database and present the data in the report format that's configured by the control system engineer. ClearSCADA can also integrate with a third-party reporting software such as Crystal Reports. To set up ClearSCADA server, there's different types. There's a standalone server, there's a main and standby server. There's also a main standby and permanent standby server. Depends on your application, depends on your redundancy requirement, depends on the data record keeping policy, you will choose the different options of redundancy. When you configure the main standby server, my recommendation is to put the main and standby server in a different location or on a different premises. Just in case one premises has got some issues, has got uh, some power blackout, has security threat, or anything could happen with that premises, you will not lose your data because all your data will be also backed up on your standby server that's on a different location. DMZ become really popular nowadays. The DMZ stands for Demilitarized zone. That's the environment where there's a clear separation between the OT and the IT environment in any organization. So ClearSCADA offers the DMZ feature within the server configuration. This can be achieved by setting up a permanent standby server that's off-premises usually. When it comes to DMZ, it's very easy to be configured. However, we do recommend the DMZ is not only going to be applied on the application level or software level, but also I recommend organizations to apply the DMZ on the network level, which means that your IT department needs to work with OT or the SCADA control engineers to, to finalize the details in terms of the firewall, which ports to be opened, which ports need to be restricted for the SCADA traffic. If you need more information about how to set up ClearSCADA server, how to set up the communication architecture, please contact us or keep following us and subscribe to our videos.